Warning, I believe the brand is pronounced Momotaro, but a few times I slipped up and said Momotaro. Sorry, end warning. Today is a really big day for us. It's a bigger day than my granddaughter's graduation. You wanna know why? Because... Momotaro time, baby! If you don't know, which I don't think you do, Momotaro reached out to me and said, hey, if we send you pants and a jacket, actually, they didn't say anything about a jacket. I said, if you're gonna send the pants, could you also send the jacket? And they said, yeah. He sent me pants and a jacket, full battle stripes galore, and the really cool part is they sent me a lot of insider information, including a product that I don't think has been released yet anywhere. It's secretive. And then they also sent me a video on how they do the battle stripes, so we can go behind the scenes at Momotaro. And then the coolest part, which is interesting, is I asked them if they had any exciting projects coming up, and they said no. I don't think that's true. I think maybe the English and Japanese translation came off a little bit wrong, but they did. <laughs> they definitely, they definitely do have cool projects coming up because it's just, that's, uh, that's who, that's Momotaro. They asked me for your input and my input, and they said, if you have any ideas or if there's anything you want to see from Momotaro, put it in the comments. So if you put something in the comments, I think his name is Hayato, is going to be just reading them. It might do them. Oh, what's up, YouTube? My name is Michael, AKA Old Ironsides, and today our war is with time, AKA the only thing that destroyed Ironsides. You may be wondering, who I am. Isn't that you? That was me earlier today when I was very, I was rushing, I had to run around, I was very stressed then. Now, things have changed. This review is gonna be unlike any other review I've ever done. This is a calm review. It is nine o'clock at night. I'm going to get a sip of my tea off the floor and welcome to the Momotaro relaxed review. When tea is really hot, I put a lot of spit at the front of my mouth and then I let the tea hit that first to cool down. There are two pieces that we're talking about today. We have the 0605-SP, which are the jeans, and then we have the 2105-SP-3, which are the jacket, which is the jacket. Both are made from the same type of denim, except the jacket has been rinsed once. Interestingly enough, rinsed in ocean water on the shore of Kuroshio City, Okayama. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I'm so sorry if I'm saying Momotaro wrong. I was saying Momotaro before. I think I got it. The chill review is over. Let's get crazy. The fit of these pants is actually perfect. And these are pretty heavily tapered pants. I usually don't wear heavy tapers, but I feel like these don't make me look like a carrot too much. I'll get a back shot in a second, but I really like them. I usually wear a size 30. These are a size 30 and they fit pretty beautifully. That's nice. They did the taper really well. There's a little butt shot for you. We'll get into something in a second, but they're amazing. The fit is great. It is not a heritage cut. It is not also a very slim cut. It's like kind of in the middle, but a little bit more slim. The arms, I don't have like big biceps, but I have been complimented on my biceps before. One time in a video, I said I had big biceps and someone said, I could use your biceps as a toothpick. It is a little slimmer than like a heritage fit, but not as slim as a super slim contemporary fit. You could see how that looks on me now. I will say right off the top, it is, it is a bold move to go battle stripe jacket, battle stripe pants. That's a big move, but the jacket, I think also fits really well. It's also very, very slim in the body. I am 5'9", 150 pounds, and this is what a 38 looks like. And then the only other thing to note that this jacket, you may notice I have a slight 
turtle back is because the denim is folded and then sewed down on the back, which is coming from the first Type 2 jackets that was on the original models. And also it gives you a little bit more fabric to move around so the jacket doesn't feel too tight. Same actually, we'll get into that in a second, but that is why it is there. The denim is 15.7 ounces and it is made from Zimbabwe cotton. There is a lot to read about about cotton and I just feel like there's even more to read about about Zimbabwe cotton in a lot of different ways. If you go down the rabbit hole, there's some great stuff you can read, there's some not so great stuff you can read. Right now I'm just gonna focus purely on the cotton itself. Cotton comes in different stable lengths. There's short, there's medium, and there's extra long. Different lengths of cotton have different characteristics to them. And extra long stable cotton, the longest cotton, is more tear resistant. It's very smooth. It has a very silky kind of feeling to it. Zimbabwe cotton specifically is famous for a few different reasons. It is typically thought of as the best of the best of the best cotton. That's why brands like Momotaro use and advertise that they're using 100% Zimbabwean cotton. To some people, this is heavy weight, but to most people in the denim world, this is medium weight. It's definitely heavier than Levi's, but not anything that insane. It has a very light slub to it, but a lot of hair. And if we're looking at the pants specifically, there is still a lot of starch in the jeans themselves. So I think a lot of that character is kind of matted down and straightened out. And after a wash and some movement, I think it will pop up more, but it is pretty uniform. There is some light slub, which is pretty cool. What's interesting though, is that the jacket is one wash. The jeans are not and the jeans feel like 10 ounces heavier. When I first got these and put them on, I was like, whoa, I couldn't even fit my legs in. And I thought I got the jeans too small, but they're actually just so stiff. And I think that's because Momotaro just uses a lot of starch. So breaking that in feels a little bit different, but then the jacket is rinsed once and that feels softer. Still, there's still starch in it. So it's a little stiffer, but in the beginning I was like, <sighs> That's Tootie. Tootie and I, that's not actually not his name. My apartment is 2D. I thought he was a stray cat and I was going to take him and support him. It's just one of my neighbor's cat though. They just leave him outside. I tried to pet Tootie one day cause he's always on the stairs and he scratched me. There are many standout details that I think you might like or hate depending on how you swing yourself. First things first is the Momotaro battle stripes. They stick out right away. We'll talk about those a little bit more at the end, but the stripes are on the Going to Battle series from Momotaro. Going to Battle stripes are a symbol of Japanese tradition representing honor and strength. The warrior stripes also represent the flag carried by Momotaro in the original folklore story. And the original folklore story is Peach Boy, which you should definitely read about. We don't have time to go into it now. A boy born from a peach destined to be on denim. There he is. So in keeping with Peach Boy, we have two more details. One is the inseam on the jeans is pink. I will get into that later too, but that is a detail that a lot of people appreciate about Momotaro. And I will save my opinion for the end of this video. But now if we're looking at the Selvage ID line, you will also notice the Selvage ID is pink. And you may be thinking, why is it pink? Easy enough to answer for you. So let me do it. Pink, Peach Boy, Peach, Pink. I also, I've had a peach every day this week. Big things coming out of Iron Snail HQ. The actual belt loops are padded, so they're a little raised. I really like that. They feel a little tougher. Then of course we have the riveted front pockets, but there are also hidden rivets in the back pockets. So that way your pockets don't rip off as easily. And then something that I am a sucker for every time it is on any piece of clothing is a sew-in label. That's not about care. It's just a cool statement. And Momotaro says, made in Okayama. It will be Okayama if it's called Momotaro. It will be Momotaro if it's called Okayama. It'll be Okoyama if it is called Jeans. It will be called Jeans if it is Momotaro. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Blue face and DNG host of the DND B I love that. That is that's the hardest thing any jean company could have written. It's so cool. Uh more please. Here's the new product that Momotaro is releasing. It is a double indigo type 2 with the battle stripes on the jacket instead of on the arm. Mikey Likey. So, same denim. I'm not going to talk about the denim again, except 
it is rinsed once on this jacket. Also, the jeans and the jacket both have iron buttons. Anytime I say iron, I'm triggered. I'm not gonna lie, I think of the Iron Snail, which is this YouTube channel. Oh, you should subscribe. Same selvage ID line, same pocket bags. Everything really is basically the same. If we're looking at this jacket, like I said, there is the folded over gussets on the back to give you some more room to move around. And also, this is a type two jacket. So at the front, there are these box stitches that are made for when it's winter time, you slice them open so that way you can pull the jacket around your big wool sweater. Do any of you recognize that the demented, drooling, slime breath little little people are there's just a movie going on in the park. I think it's Matilda. It's just, what a lovely little thing, huh? So now we need to talk about the final thing in this video, fashion. I think Momotaro and Avisu are really the only two brands that have a consistent, loud thing on their jackets and on their pants all the time. And that is, for the most part, in the heritage community of people wearing like raw denim or like army green coats and stuff like that. That is a no-go usually. Logos, branding, and all that stuff, people are like, mm -mm. Everything about these garments should be spoken via the fabric itself. A lot of these brands say they are fabric first. So the fabric is the most important part, not the branding and stuff like that. But I will say, when I first started wearing clothes, I was very young. Branding is usually not good. I really do like fabric and like intense craftsmanship and clothes that have a ton of details that you need to read about to understand. And what's interesting is I feel like when you get to that level of like super amazing quality clothing with all this cool details, then I feel like branding is like a great point of pride. Like I wanna show off that I'm wearing Momotaro because I think it's that cool of a brand that I want people to ask about it and see like I am wearing one of the coolest denim jackets that you could possibly get with stripes on the arm. I don't know why it is specifically but with battle stripes on denim on the jeans and on the jacket I just feel like I'm gonna do something important like I feel like an EMT. Thank you Michael I said that a few days ago that's how I feel about them. I will gladly wear very loud versions of a denim jacket or pants or anything like that because I think it's really cool. Anyways though I will see you next week where I go for a hike with my friend Brendan with a new backpack that I'll be talking about from Fial Raven.